Hi, my name is David Schultz, and you can see my acrylic paintings on paper at the Oxide Gallery in Denton. I'm excited that they've invited me here today to tell you a little bit about my work and about some of the different techniques that I use to make my work uh, particularly unusual and that I have a really fun time with. One of the first things that you'll notice about my work is uh, uh, that I use paint on paper, generally a textured paper of some sort. Most often I'll use a medium weight watercolor paper. And I love to, to have the image surrounded by just a little white border, a, a mask, if you will. And the first thing I want to talk about today is how I, uh, how I achieve that process of getting the white border around my paintings. The first thing I'll do is I'll select a, a paper and decide on what size, uh, what size piece I want to make. Uh, for our demonstration today, I'm going to use a, 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 a small piece of watercolor paper. The finished work I want to do will be uh, 8 inches by 8 inches. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll, I'll determine how much of the painting I need to mask off. Uh, just a little simple math, uh, and I'll put a few marks on my paper. These are just very light pencil marks I can use as a guide. The tape that I use is a tape that's got a real slick and almost shiny finish to it. So what I do is I just take the, uh, take the tape and line it up on my marks. Sun. It's important also to make sure that on that inner edge where the paint is going to lap over that you get a good seal against the paper. You can make sure that it's pressed down all the way around all four edges. And one of the beautiful uh, things about having a mask on the, uh, the, the white space on the edge of the painting is that it does make it easier to handle. If you have to, to pick it up, uh, you, don't, um, you don't risk getting uh, oils and fingerprints on the painting itself. It gives me a little space where I can sign my name on the front of the painting without having to go into the, um, the, the, the work itself with that. Um, and it really looks great with a mat as well. When you, when you put a, uh, a mat over this painting to frame it, then uh, the mat will, will have a little white space um, and you see the full image revealed rather than having to hide any of the image with the mat. So once you've, uh, once you've masked the painting and uh, made your painting, Here's a little painting that I brought to show you what, uh, uh, what it would look like sort of after it's been painted, but before you take the mask off. It has a real distinct look, um, but it really is amazing how the, the, the painting reveals itself. Take the mask off, you just find the loose edge of the tape, and I try to be very careful and, and, and slow in pulling the, pulling the tape off. Sometimes a little bit of the paper Will, will come up, particularly if you're using a paper that doesn't have a sizing on the front. But you can see how, the, um, how, how this edge just reveals itself, getting a little paper peeling up. Situations where that happens, I'll generally just dip my finger in a little bit of water and smooth down that, um, smooth down that ruffling a little bit. Sometimes the tape, be very careful so that you don't get in and more of the edge of the, the painting. There you go. Now you can see an example of what the, the painting would look like without the mask on it. 